and I move over, the camera's automatically gonna go to where the action's at. If I move over this side, then it's obviously gonna come over here. Without me having to touch anything, it's gonna track them, test the night vision. I'm staring into the camera and looking at my phone and then looking right back at the camera. This is a great video camera for security. How's it going YouTube? It's me the cool loser. Today's video is going to be on the Yi 1080p HD security camera and this is going to be a 360 rotating camera so I'll be doing the usual unboxing and setting it up. Hope you guys had a great Christmas. So if you're looking for after Christmas buying for some new gadgets, you're probably at the right channel. Now Yi is a really good company that's been killing it for 4K action cameras. I actually have the Yi dash cam on my car so I always use it. I will not drive my cars without dash cam so I always want to record what's happening and it is made by Yi so I can trust that so here it is it'll rotate to me it looks like a little astronaut guy but they will rotate up and down so you could move instead of having just one stationary view you can actually move the camera to look around now here you can see we have a reset button we have the micro USB and a SD card reader and this is all streaming with an application that you could use and we will install that of course just out of the box we can see that does 112 wide angle two-way audio so you can talk back and forth so they'll be able to hear me I'll be able to hear them auto crew so it kind of moves around the whole room by itself motion tracking so if it detects motion it'll start recording alerting you night vision baby crying detection here are some specs if you want to pause the video but of course in the description the links are always provided also pinned in the comments all right micro USB cord here's a power brick we have two anchors and two screws to screw into the wall and this is where those screws are gonna anchor to so it should go there and you twist my fingers are really cold so it's hard to work with but there it is that'd be onto it against the wall and then you can twist off if you want to. And it does have grip on the bottom already. This is the little rubber grip, so it's not gonna be sliding around. You can set it on tables. Actually a pretty long cable here. Plug it right in there. You can plug this to the outlet. But what I like about micro USB is that you can use portable power. And then this is already on. There's a yellow light there. And it might start moving on its own. I'm not sure. Oh, there it goes. Welcome to Yee Home. Camera. It's actually pretty quiet. So for something like this, you do want to re-download the app. So that's where we want to go. Now, as you guys know, I started my channel with purely Android stuff, but I've been incorporating a lot of iPhone devices here. I got to do both devices, the best of both worlds. This might be a little bit weird, but I did not carry both devices on me when I had multiple phones, but I carry both of these everywhere I go, pretty much. Anyway, since I have always favored Android, I've been kind of giving some light to iOS. To connect. So we're going to type in Yi Home. Now there's one that says Yi Home light so I'm just gonna download that one and I'm gonna open it now and you will have to make an account to connect once you sign up you're gonna get an email verification you go to it click on the link we get success and I'm just signed in supports new generation of smart features gesture recognition baby crying detection let's get started tap here to add your camera dome camera connect to Wi-Fi space the QR code towards the camera lens and wait for it to scan how close Waiting to connect I'm not sure how QR code scan is successful. Okay. Connecting to Wi-Fi. So it was successful. Pairing process takes about one to two minutes. Please wait. Pairing is successful. You can start using your camera now. Camera name, you can name it. I named it under the dome. Where is it? I'm gonna say in the office here. Share cameras with your family so you can actually have your family download the app so they can use this, but if you want it to be just for you, obviously you don't share it. And then we press save. So the camera is running right now. So I'm just gonna move the camera now. Whoa, there we go, you can see. And then rotating it. So rotating the camera, looking towards where the other camera is. You can see there. And on this camera, you can see it rotate. I'm gonna rotate it all the way around to where I'm kind of. That's basically the position that I record my camera blitz pick it up a little bit to what that camera sees close open close open that's actually pretty fast and to see the quality there it looks really good it's in HD and we can listen in I think that's the arrow yep that's the microphone so we can go there hello hello Whatever this little camera heard is gonna be sounding off from this. So I live in Oregon and if I was all the way in New York, I'd be able to see what's happening all the way across the world. I mean, anything to do with internet, you're gonna be able to see what's happening. This little tab there brings up the camera control. So just bring it down, I like how, and then you pick it up. It's rotating around. There's the top ceiling, bring it down. Rotating so I don't have to have multiple cameras set up. I just have one to move around and there is also zooming. Zoom in here, there we go. You can just zoom in 
and zoom back out. It's a digital zoom, it's not an optical zoom. Now you will be able to set other cameras up, but I only have one. There's a camera on and off, camera name is office settings. Now we can do status light, image rotation. If you're gonna be putting it upside down, you want the image to rotate, right? Smart detection, so motion detection. It'll start recording, the sensor's movement, baby crying detection, how frequent you want it to do, schedule 24 seven or let it be when you're gone at work times. Video and photos, include video photos and activity alert through Yi Security Light. All right, so that's pretty much all the settings in there. So this time I'm gonna disconnect from Wi-Fi. That's off. So we're gonna see how it looks when it's loading on my T-Mobile data here. Now let's see the delay. I'm waving across it. Close, open, close, open. Now you can see that it's still performing very fast. A lot less lag than other devices that I played with and the quality still looks really good. So right now when you press that, that's recording everything you're seeing here. So if anything is happening, you can record it live and it's gonna be storing onto your phone, not the camera, the Yi Dome. Obviously I didn't put an SD card in there so everything's gonna be able to save on my device. Let's view the album. Let's click on that. Now I did not record with audio, but you can see that it's moving here, whatever it recorded. It looks like really good high quality in there. Now again, if I was gone, if I wanna to talk to whoever's in my room, or if, let's say I have this at the front door, and the mailman knocks and I get a notification saying someone's at the door, I'm gonna click on this and say, hey, just leave it on the door. Say, hey, just leave it on the door. And then he'll be able to talk then back. He'll be able to talk back. And then you can take pictures by selecting that, snapshot saved, and then there's the plus sign here. Bookmark successfully added, so whatever this time frame was, it saved it on a bookmark. There's motion tracking. Okay, let's say someone walks into my room and I move over, the camera's automatically gonna go to where the action's at. The most motion's gonna be, so if I move over this side, then it's obviously gonna come over here so it can catch whatever's happening in the motion. So I like that it's doing automatically in that movement without me having to touch anything, it's gonna track them. So if they get out of the, the view, it's gonna show you. You can turn on and off whenever you want. Auto cruise, go every 10 or 15 seconds, it's gonna rotate and rotate and rotate. So that's what that auto cruise is. And then there's videos that we saved. So there's the photo one. That looks like a really good sharp picture that you could actually use and post on your Instagram or whatever if you guys are catching something funny. <coughs> Remember, I'm still connected just through my data, my phone data. I'm not connected through my Wi-Fi, so this is using my phones. So yeah, this is one of the easiest camera setups I had to do. I like the fact that you can literally move it around. And my left camera just died, like they still have the main camera right here. And the only thing I really gotta do is test the night vision. And that is super bright. Even how dark it is in here, it's picking up. I'm staring into the camera and looking at my phone and then looking right back at the camera. And I can still go into the rotation here. That night vision looks great. And it just got brighter, I can totally see it. You guys see the proof here, it's so easy. I'm just showcasing what it can do. So if you like it, you already know what to do. But there you guys have it. You can literally have these portable chargers running them. Don't have to use the micro SD card, but if your internet dies and this still has power, it's gonna be able to record everything onto your SD card rather than relying through Wi-Fi. So if Wi-Fi disconnected, at least you have the motion detection being recorded through your SD card. So that's the real purpose of having this SD card. Then you'll have the ability to go back and see what it recorded. So yeah, I think it's safe to say it's a very nice, quick, efficient app to use. The camera looks great. Again, if you want it for yourself, find the description down below, pinned in the comments. And as always, use my link for my affiliates through Amazon. And I will see you guys next time. Later.